people keep referring to communicating as an art. I disagree. I say it's an art and a science. I believe that if we can start with the science side, then the art of it and your experimenting and being able to do it really comfortably will come. What do I mean? Well, Here's the thing, being able to communicate effectively with influence so that you resonate with whoever it is you're speaking with, there is a science to this and it's based on how the brain works, how we as humans function and work. Why do we make certain decisions and not others? Why do we remember certain people and not others? Why do we tune into certain words and phrases and not others? So that's the science side, the brain-based side of building up your ability to communicate effectively. And then the art, your presence, the way you are, your energy, all these really important things. Yes, they are fundamental to being able to communicate effectively with influence, but you have to have credibility and a solid foundation. The science side is things like, what are the three words that this stakeholder is going to really tune into? How do I figure that out? And then how do I use that? And where do I use it? It's things like, hmm, I need to tune into them so that they tune into me. And what is it that I want to get across? How and when do I say it to increase the chance of it sticking in people's minds? These are what I call science-based or brain-based ways of looking at communicating effectively. And this is my thesis. I believe that if you have the fundamental building blocks, the credible, systematic, brain-based building blocks of how do I do it? What words do I choose? Why do I choose those words when I'm speaking to this stakeholder? If you've got all of that sorted in your mind, what structure do I use? And why is this the right structure to get people to tune into what I have to say? When you've got those building blocks, you are going to be really comfortable. <laughs> it's a great stress reliever to know how the Lego system of building your case, the way you're going to say it, how you're going to be saying it comes later. What does that mean? That means that you are going to be very comfortable with the how, because you've got all the fundamental stuff sorted and you understand the system and why it has to be this way. And so if you've got that, I believe that you can start to experiment with how you're going to be when you are communicating. How are you going to sound? Marry these two bits together and you have magic. People will stop what they're doing and they will tune into you. They will remember the three words that you really want them to take away. They will remember that one thought that you want to embed in their minds when you do both the art and the science together. This is not about how you stand. I mean, I'll tell you a story. Somebody followed me once off stage and she said, I really want to know how you do your thing. She had been through lots of training and she shared that somebody said to her, a trainer, don't stand like that because people in the audience will think whatever. This trainer was stripping away her person, how she is, who she is, and looking at the superficial sides of communicating. She was leaning on one leg more than the other. So that's not part of communicating effectively. I believe that the more comfortable you are, the more you understand the building blocks and the more you are able to practice. Wow, you are going to rock that stage. You are going to be remembered for the right reasons. And guess what? The right sort of opportunity finds you, makes its way to you because people remember you for the right reasons. You are front of mind and they know you. Ooh, that person, yes. And they remember what you are brilliant at. So the next time there is something that they need that you can do, guess what? They seek you out and they invite you to do it. How brilliant is that? So remember, there is an art and a science to communicating effectively with influence in a way that resonates with whoever it is you're speaking with. By the way, it works at home too. <laughs> when you do this, you have so many more opportunities. And that's how you raise your profile, sustain your success, and end up earning more. I'll see you next time.